Get it, Papa. Well, here I am, and look what I see. There's lots of giant bottles of moonshine up there, but that's not all that's up there. Well, actually, that is that's all that's up there. But here I am, and from the sound of that pickup truck motor, in a way, you can tell I'm in the the metropolis of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we're gonna be having lots of exciting fun today. And uh, I don't really even know what's gonna happen. But uh, I know somebody who does know what happens around here. Here I am, ready to go. I'm in my homeland. Look at that, what a place. It's amazing, ain't it? Look at the cars, look at the traffic. Here I am. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my homeland. What? What is it, Pappy? Look, look that. Hello, Ma. Hello, Pa. It's me, Pappy. Here I am in my homeland, ready to have fun. Hey, is there a Walmart around here? Wait, that's just pictures of them. <laughs> it's, it's my ancestral home. I'm home. I'm all gonna cry. Oh God, Pappy. I'm crying. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, look at it. Like, what if your head wasn't in the way? Oh, sorry. Well, here I am once again. Ooh, I think I poked him in the chin. Here I am once again. And look at these fabulous sights. Wait, except for me. Wait, there's a helicopter. This place is crazy. But uh, yeah, this is the exciting Hollywood style wax museum. And they've got these giant statues out here that you can see. And pretty soon we're gonna see what kind of stuff they have inside here. And there's people coming out to find me and catch me and run me off because they're not open yet. <laughs> it's a little early. But, but I say to you, um, we're gonna go inside and find out what's happening here. Look that. Yep, their head's as big as mine. And there's exciting, terrifying action going on right as soon as you walk in. But uh, but here's some more terrifying action. It's the red carpet. Look that. And well, you see who the real wiener is here. But uh, here's the other people. I don't see names, but I remember names. But you're gonna have to guess who they are. Here we go. And there he is. Hi everybody, I want a prize. Yep. yep, Jack enjoys it. I don't know, he's not too impressed <laughs> with our current Oscar wiener. Oh well, maybe next year. And the fabulous celebrities just keep showing up. There's Angelina Jolie. And there's everyone's favorite Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. Ah, how are you? Am I in your light? I'm sorry. Ah. And thank goodness he's gone. But there's Leonardo DiCaprio. And here's some people. Uh, Ah, uh, they're, they're like singing people and stuff. And, oh, look that. This Indiana Jones with his own crystal vodka skull. He's <laughs> apparently, uh, I don't know, having a shot or something. And 
Here's a, a, he brought his mummy. And here's some exciting pirate folk over here. I don't know if you can hear that music, but I will have to figure out what I can do about it. Pirate folks and, uh, and Elf, Elvis in the background. Look that. And there's Frank Sinatra looking youthful and dapper in his suspenders. Oh, and there's Charlie Chaplin. Look that. There he is. And there they are. You ready for the exciting coffee drinking scene? <laughs> yep. You never thought you'd see this, did you? That's Katy Perry wearing an interesting outfit with a mushroom hat. And here's Happy with his new friend, Cameron Diaz. Look that! That's another match you never would have thought you'd ever see, ever. And hopefully <laughs> for her, you will see it, this kind of a matchup again. And here we are on a wonderful night on the town. Sorry, George. Look that! That's Jason Momoa, and he still he even has his little eyebrow deal going. Look that! Look, here's an extreme close-up. In case y'all ever wondered about that. And there's Whitney Houston. And we're going through, and I'm using my excited uh, voice that you use when you go. Uh, like uh, on a on a show or something, and according to the the giant neon sign up there, this is the Pop Diva concert. And there's Miley Ray and Beyonce and uh, Re Rihanna and uh, Pink over here and Taylor Swift, and they're all here already to entertain you with exciting songs like like. Uh, some of Pappy's songs and stuff about growing up in a barn and eating straw and stuff. So it should be an exciting concert, everyone. And over here is the, the legendary Prince. And you can see, oh, I got in the light. And you can see he's got his, his cool guitar and everything. But I'm, I'm a little concerned because it's, Prince is wearing girl shoes. Look that. I don't think he was very tall, but did he really wear girl shoes? We want to know. And here's some more exciting people that you might recognize. We got, got Willie over here. We got Johnny. We got Dolly. And Carrie Underwood. And she's got a sparkly, uh, uh, like, like, it's got like little tings hanging on, the, on her, her outfit there. But look that, there's a, a wall of fame right there. Look that! I think somebody really wanted to meet, to meet Willie. And here he is. Howdy Willie, I've been wanting to meet you for a couple of days now. And here I am. And, and you wanted to have a, a cigar? I got another one in my pocket. I always keep an extra butt in my pocket. And you can have one. And we're starting to cross the line over here between music and, and movies. And here's what I mean. There's John Wayne over here. Look that. And he's ready for action with his rifle. And, and his uh, saddlebags. He's ready for action. And there he is. A true American hero. And I'm zipping around here in a circle, but there's Clint Eastwood. He's ready to pop you one. He's gonna pop you good. Paya! And take care of you. And look, he likes cigars too. Just like me. That's great, Pappy. I can see the giant neon sign, but uh, I also can see that there's a whole nother floor to this place. Look that. We gotta go see more. And guess who this is? It's Dr. Henry Jones Sr. And James Bond. And he's this Russian uh, submarine captain from a Hunt for Red October. And he's thinking about stuff. And you know it's serious. Because he's got his pencil ready. 
and he's gonna take some notes. And over here is none other than Vin Diesel. And it's another time for another installment of the Extreme Close-Up Gallery. Here he is. Look at that. There he is. And he's gonna stare you down. Yes, he's staring you down. Don't think about it. It's, it's Liam Neeson. And he's looking pretty determined. And uh, I, I don't know what time it is because they got all different kinds of time, but they don't have Pigeon Forge on there. So I'm extremely confused and that might be why he's so concerned. And he needs a shave. Look at that. Here's Ryan Reynolds. And he's just dressed like in regular fun clothes and next to the interrogation room. And it's time for another extreme close-up. Look at that. There he is, everybody. Extreme close-up. Oh, and he's gonna look at you. He's staring right at you. That's Jason Statham. And he's dressed like in his regular clothes. And he's staring too, so there's no, no question about what we have to do. There he is. And you can see he's got this fuzzy hair on. And it's the winners. It's the Hernhart family. Here they are, but here's the real winner. It's Pappy. Here I am. I got me a big cup to drink my Mountain Dew out of. Yeah, that's great, Pappy. And here's Ricky Bobby in his wonder outfit. And I guess you know what it's time for. Yet another exciting extreme close-up. Look at that. You can even see inside his mouth. Look at that. But you never thought you'd do that. It's a look that exclusive. Oh, look, it's Nacho Libre. But he forgot his mask. Get Zooks, he's out of uniform. <laughs> and there's Michael B. Jordan. And there's Bruno B. Mars. And Sylvester B. Salone. And John B. Cena. <laughs> and there he is, and he's laughing at you. He, he's about to bust out laughing. I, I, think, I think Rocky is too. And I'm not sure, sure why Bruno's here with a bunch of boxers and fighters and stuff, but that's okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's pointing at you. He's pointing at you, Pappy. What the hell did I do? Damn it! He's always pointing at me. Stop it. Stop pointing at me. And here's Adele ready to sing another exciting, beautiful song and being accompanied on the piano by Pappy, who I think has passed out back here. Wait a minute. Pappy. Pappy. Pappy, wake up. Oh God, he's passed out again. Look at that, it's that Chris Pratt guy with some dino friends hiding in the woods back there. There he is. He's ready for action. A lot of these people are ready for action today, including Hugh Jackman and Ben Affleck. And look, I guess this time we'll do a, a double super extreme close-up uh, for Luke Dat. It's a, another Luke Dat exclusive. Look, here's Hugh Jackman's ear. That really is a Luke Dat exclusive. And uh, just to compare, let's go on over to, uh, <laughs> to Ben over here. And we'll check in the same way. Uh, everybody, everything good? Yep, everything's good. All right. And here's the, the height chart for everybody so we can see how tall everybody is, including Pappy. 
Yep, Pappy, while well, he's sitting down, he'd be about uh, almost two feet, about one foot uh, six, seven, something like that. And then you have Judy Garland. Wait, let me back up a little bit. Judy Garland, Reese Witherspoon, Sarah Jessica Parker, Jennifer Aniston, Daniel Radcliffe is taller than her, by the way, in case you didn't know. And there's Mark Wahlberg. And he's, he's taller than both of them. And Robert Redford. And Julia Roberts is 5'9". She's pretty tall. And Queen Latifah is even taller at 5'10". And Nicole Kidman is almost six feet tall. Goodness gracious. And that's without her heels on. And there's Colin Firth. A little bit over six, and Ashton Kutcher's a string bean. He's the way up there at six, 2.5 inches. So there. And here's Al Pacino uh, reenacting his famous scene from The Godfather when, when Pappy showed up with a, a squirrel head that he wanted to stick in somebody's bed and scare them. And here's the famous rapping people who've gone on to exciting different, different uh, things in life, including uh, Snoop Dogg. And Tupac and Eminem. But how many of them have their own cookbooks? We got Matthew McConaughey and Salma Hayek. There she is. Oh, wait, let's do some extreme close ups. I know everybody's going to appreciate that. There's the extreme close ups. There he is. And we didn't do any of the ladies yet. Here's, here's Selma super uh, up close and personal <laughs> it's Bradley Cooper Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock and they're all standing around waiting for something to happen he's having a drink at least he's got a plan yeah they weren't on the uh, the size comparison chart back there but it, it is interesting to see Melissa McCarthy is as tall as Sandra Bullock's shoulder pretty much so there you go it's <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson and they're not letting him cuss and uh, John Travolta. Well, let's do the uh, Samuel L. Jackson stare of death. It's a Luke Dad exclusive. Would you want him standing there staring at you like that? I mean, seriously. Oh, and when you see something like this, that can only mean one thing. It's Captain John Luke Picard. And there he is. And we're gonna do a warp special on him to, to, to do our extreme super close-up of a starship captain in action. Look that! Now that is a look that exclusive. It's zero G, everybody. And here they are, the men in black. And they brought their friends. They brought their dog. And Secret Agent Pappy. Here I am. They're ready to kick some booty, right, Pappy? Yeah. Okay. That's great, Pappy. I don't know how they can hold those poses like that. That's pretty amazing. That's a lot of training and uh, practice to be able to stand with your leg like that for that long. Here's Bruce Lee. Speaking of ready to kick your booty all over the place. He's got his nunchucks ready and his hand out and he's whistling at us. So there you go. Let's look at uh, Bruce Lee's ultimate whistling power in an extreme close-up. And there it is. Hey, that's not the only one because he's Jackie Chan, but he's not whistling at us. He's just going to focus, focus in the eyes with his fingers like Mo. No, look out. There's a secret horror chamber in here. And look who's waiting right when we walk in. Just the ticket, ticket taker. <laughs> also known as the Phantom. Hey, uh, this looks like a good, a good, oh, this could be a great place for extreme close-ups. Look that, look that. Oh wait, I'm getting in his light. Look that. Look, you can look in his nose. Speaking of horror, look that. 
Here's one of them, them the Friday the 13th guys. I, I, these guys have like bad, bad skin and stuff. And um, it, it, you, you can tell. But he's got his mask on, so he's okay. Here we are. We have our thinking hats on. And we're thinking about uh, what's around the next corner. Because it's sure to be frightening. Right? Right? He's still thinking. Here's an alien in a, in a cage. It's an alien in a cage, everybody. But look, the little baby one got out. Look out. Yes, the alien's pretty scary and creepy with his glowing fangs and jerky drips. But something's even scarier. Here I am. Hatching out of my egg. Boo, everybody. And there's a giant predator guy. And look, it's time for an extreme close-up. <laughs> Let's look in his mouth. Die. You never saw an extreme close-up of a predator like that. Oh. It sounds like one of Pappy's relatives. Bill Murray's a little concerned in this little donut shop because look who's working here. Here I am, gotta make the donuts. But I ain't putting my cigar down. Well, that, that was surely exciting and fun coming out of that uh, wax museum there. But there's more secret, exciting, exclusive, loop dot, ex super exclusive things to, to show you. And some of them are right out here. Look that! Yes, they have the big statues out here. And now we can look up their noses too. Look that! It's extreme statue n n <laughs> nose cam uh, footage. Yeah, tell your friends, call your neighbors. Not just anybody has stuff like this. Wait, uh, wait, where's his nose? There it is! Look that! Oh wait, there's something in there. Uh, no, no it, was, it was a shadow, sorry. And let's see one last one. <laughs> Look that. I bet you never seen up noses that big before. And now you know why Luke Dad is scorned by millions every day. And this is uh this is an interesting thing right across the, the parking lot from the uh, wax museum. And it's the Castle of Chaos, and it's uh, there's some other stuff in there, but it's like a kind of like a ride, kind of a show or something. And I, I'm too scared to go in, so we gotta go somewhere else. Bye. Hey.